Hi everyone, my name is Melissa Bender and this is my workout for today. Today I am doing a full body workout. Exercise number one is tough but fun and it is a lunge jump kick. So I'm going to start out in my lunging position, so feet together. Take a nice big step back until both knees make 90 degree angles. So your front knee is right above your, your ankle, back knee is bent and slightly above the floor. You never want to bang that knee on the ground, so make sure you're lifted high enough that you're not hitting your knee. You're going to kick, come back, and then do a lunge jump. That was one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, Ooh. <laughs> nine, losing my balance now, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, that was fourteen. Be careful you don't punt that chest right through the wall. Fifteen, I'll face front now. <laughs> Seventeen, my thighs are burning. Eighteen. Nineteen. Well, nineteen. Twenty. Next exercise. Cheek to cheek plank. Okay, sip of water. Okay, for this exercise, I'm going to go into my plank position. Hands are going to be clasped, elbows directly below my shoulders. Core pulls tight, body forms a nice straight line, and I'm going to twist to set my right hip down, and then my left hip down. That's one, two, three, come back to Plank in between each one. Four, five, six, seven. Keep the core tight. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, 20. Next exercise. I'm gonna roll over and do crisscross leg lift. Okay. So for this one, low back is gonna stay on the ground. Core pulls in tight. So pretend you can press your belly button to the ground, but make sure you can still breathe. Arms are going to reach up into the sides of your head, and you're going to extend your legs, keeping them lifted, core engaged. You're going to crisscross. So bring that foot toward your hand, stretch it as far up as you can, and then you can reach and tap. That's one. Down. Other side. Two. Three. Four. And it's a controlled movement. Five. Extend as far as you can, then tap. Six. Seven, eight, nine, whoop, ten, eleven, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, 20. Next exercise. Frogger hip thrust. Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna use a weight. The weight is optional if you're a beginner or if you don't have a weight, you can start out body weight. Um, also, you can even use soup cans if you wanna add a light weight. What I'm gonna do for this one is get my dumbbell set up right here and you can use one or two. Just depends on the level of challenge you're looking for. If you're using one, instead of grabbing it in the center, pick it up on both sides like this, okay? So I'll show you from the side. You get into your frogger or plank position, core pulls in tight. Jump your feet forward, almost like you're doing a burpee. Drop your butt down, lift your hands. Then once your back is nice and straight, you're gonna grab your weights or your weight, or just stand up. Squeeze those hips tight. That's one. So back stay straight to bring the weights back down. Hands come to either side, jump it back. That was one. Three. That was four. Five. That was six. Oops. Seven. Push through the heels to stand and squeeze those glutes. That's eight. That was nine. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Sixteen. Focus on that form. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Last one. Twenty. <laughs> Jump it back. <laughs> okay, next exercise. Side plank. Heel press. Okay. So a quick sip of water. Okay. For this one, I'm going to do a forearm plank again. So my palm will be flat. If you're more comfortable, you can fist it. But I like the extra support. Um, feet stack or you could put one behind the other. And what you're gonna do is lift into your side plank, hold your core in tight, elbow pointing to the ceiling the whole time, 
That helps keep you from leaning forward. And you're going to lift, bring it in, press your heel. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, press, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, pull that core tight, 18, 19, 20. Same thing on the other side. So here we go, forearm plank. Um, and if moving your top leg is too much for you right now, start out by holding your, holding your side plank. So you can hold it either with stacked feet or one in front of the other. And that'll start getting your obliques used to working. So here we go. Lift and press that heel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Next exercise. And side lunge lift. Okay, so back to standing for this one. I'm gonna just move these out of the way. Okay. So for this one, we're gonna be moving side to side. So starting with your feet together. Big step left into a side lunge. Then we're gonna shift our weight into, or big step right, shift your weight into your right foot, lift to the left, back down to center. That's one, same thing on the other side. Big step left, butt reaches backwards, knee behind your toes, shift, lift, back to center. That's two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, try and keep your knee from folding inward. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, 20, next exercise. TikTok abs. Okay, so for this one, you get to lay down. Arms come out to either side of you. I have to take my ear clip out, there we go. Um, arms come out to either side. Lay, legs come up so your body makes an L. And you're gonna try and keep your feet together, so don't let one come out further than the other. You wanna keep them even. Core pulled in tight. Pressing toward the ground, but you can still breathe. You're gonna drop right Ooh. as far as you can, slightly above the ground, and then lift from your abs. That's one. And then same thing to the other side. Lift, that's two. And I like to twist my head to the opposite way my feet are reaching just to give my spine a little extra stretch. Three. 
three. So I never rest my feet down, but I do pause slightly above the ground for a second to really challenge myself. Four. Five. Six. And try not to push too much through your arms. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Four more. Really working the transverse abs. 17. Keep breathing and lift through the core. 18. 19. Last one. 20. Next exercise. Next we're doing mountain jumpers. Okay. So very similar to mountain climbers, but we're adding a little hop to it. So what we're going to do is come to our plank position. Core pulls in tight. And we're actually going to start with one foot in front and one foot behind. And you're going to jump up into the air and switch. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Ah. Next exercise. Doing crunch twist. Okay, and this is the final exercise. This is it. Okay, so for this one, we're back on our mats, laying down on our backs. And again, core pulls in tight. Hands are going to come behind our head, shoulder blades stay lifted, elbows stay spread far apart. We're going to bring our body, so kind of like a bicycle, but we're doing double legs. So instead of switching this way, we're focusing on moving our lower body, both knees to the outside of your right or your left elbow. Extend, that's one. Then whoop, I'm falling down to the other side. Extend. That's two. Left and right. That's three. So you're coming to either side toward those elbows. Four. Five. And your hips lift slightly. You're using those low abs. Six. Seven. Keep pulling my core in tight. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 
19, last one. 20, yay. I felt this. <laughs> okay, you have such endurant abs. Thank you. So jealous. Oh, it's taken a lot of work to get there. Um, but you guys can see all of that work on my blog, benderfitness.com. It is every single workout I've done in the past year and a half to stay in shape and get in shape in the first place. So check it out. Um, plus recipes and tips for healthy living. So I hope to see you there and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new workout. Bye guys.